<sighs> Interesting tech news is so scarce right now that I feel like I am about to just fall asleep from boredom and never wake up. If there could just be something, anything to talk about and ooh, wait a second, 3D Mark just released a brand new benchmark. And it's not just any benchmark, no no no. This one is completely multi-platform, working on Windows, Mac and Android. So yeah, it's way more important than you might think. Basically, if you don't know, 3D Mark is like the ultimate challenge for us sad PC nerds, as we try to get the highest possible scores in the popular benchmarks like TimeSpy and TimeSpy Extreme. And now they've released Wildlife and Wildlife Extreme, some very important benchmarks because they finally allow us to, say, compare a standard PC to a phone. Because that's right, you can use this benchmark on a phone, you can use it on a laptop, be it a Apple one or a Windows one, you could use it on anything pretty much, and you can compare anything directly to each other, which is pretty awesome. Okay, okay, maybe for many of you it isn't exciting, and probably many of you are just sad and confused, trying to understand why I'm so excited for a benchmark that I'm about to just go in and start kissing 3D Mark employees for making it. And true, on the surface, it's not too exciting. It is one of the first completely cross-platform benchmark which is awesome but sure we can say that hey this phone has half or a quarter or whatever amount of performance compared to this PC or this laptop or whatever but what can we actually do with that information I mean sure it's really interesting to know that smartphones are getting so powerful and now we can say that a modern smartphone may have the same performance as a say 5 or 10 year old PC or laptop, but what kind of useful information that most normal people could use can we actually get out of this exercise? And honestly, this benchmark could not have come at a better time, because recently there's been a whole trend of using mobile solutions like laptops and even tablets or phones as replacements for a proper desktop workstation. Because as those things are getting more powerful, most people can just do whatever they have to do on the go, and Apple have been really spearheading that, trying to make the iPad Pro feel like just a MacBook, but with an inferior OS. And now that they're all pretty much using the same Apple M1 SoC, I mean, it is pretty much just a MacBook, but with no integrated keyboard and with an inferior OS. But the reason that things like the iPad Pro haven't really been used for, you know, creative tasks on the go or whatever, is the fact that for the longest time they just didn't have the performance to really drive apps like say Photoshop. And now with this benchmark we can see exactly how much performance someone would be leaving on a table if they decided to make their Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever else workstation an iPad Pro or a MacBook compared to say a desktop PC. So with this new trend of using mobile devices in such a way as these creative tools this is a great benchmark to finally tell us how powerful and how good they can be at this task compared to standard desktops and even more high-end laptops. So let me know how your desktops and your mobile devices are performing in this brand new test. This is your one chance to show off how much money you have spent on electronics. Don't waste it. And hey, if you have that kind of money, then maybe check out my channel's Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. Because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping out my channel, and allows us to make way better videos, along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love, love to thank my patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs, and Meg Sumner. Thank you guys so, so much. Your support truly goes a long way. Down there's also Amazon associates links, so you can use those to buy pretty much anything from Amazon and we get some money and you don't pay anything extra, so it's a win-win. Down there's also our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us at this or whatever else really. Plus our old customs link which will give you 5% off one of the keyboards and also our social media is down there as well. But anyway, that's what it's, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.